Okay. Uh, I thought there was a port in Portugal as well. A port in Portugal, yes, there is. Um, ah, right, commercial port. Right. Um, Spain. What have I got in Spain? I thought there was a port in Spain as well. There is. There's that one there, isn't there? Dare I upgrade the fishery? Yeah, okay. Why not? Give me a bit more money. And what's that? Uh, not sure I really need that, do I? But I just want to see if there's anything in here that I can get that's going to increase my wealth. Um, there's another port down there. That might be a better port to get, actually. Yeah. And I thought... Ooh, crikey, 6,000. Not even sure I've got the technology to get that one yet, either. What about this one? No. I know I can't get it yet, because it hasn't got those sort of hammer and sickle spinning things above it anyway, you know. So, OK, well, I'm down to 580. Um, I, I don't think it's important for me to keep fiddling around trying to find something, so I think that's probably enough for now. Let's go over to the uh, summer of 1767 and see what that brings us. Like I said, there's been quite a lot of planning and thinking involved in this. Um, I, I've just been sort of looking over the map again and again and again and again, trying to figure out what I can do and how I can work this one out. But uh, anyway... Let's see what uh, the uh, computer comes up with then, shall we? Right, well, nothing too bad seemed to happen that time, which is good. Very straight gained. What's that? Minus one happiness and ability. It's not very really good, is it? Anyway, I've got greater things in mind at the moment, so we won't worry too much about that. Construction reports. Right, OK. Let's get straight over to France. Back to the task in hand. Right, maximum I can get over here in Paris. Again. Where are we? Now we're getting all this money. Look at that, 35,000. Life's looking good. You won't believe the number of times I started this campaign and died through bankruptcy. Somebody, you know, while I was sending trade ships over, just blocking my trade route and boom, that was the end of the story. You reduce your army so much that you're bankrupt. Three, four, five times maybe I um, abandoned this game you know, because of that. So um, it's a rather nice position to be in this for me. Now in Amsterdam I can also get, I believe, uh, Malta's. Where are we? Where's it gone? Yeah. Two, three. Yeah. Oh, some Malta's as well because they're very nice and I like those. And where are those other troops I was bringing around? I just want to make sure they're not blocked by anybody. Oh, they're here. As you notice, the scroll went straight in that time as well instead of... Um, doing its usual stupid thing that it does, you know. But normally when you scroll in, it scrolls right out first and makes everybody dizzy, but um, that seems to be working now. 
Um, right, okay, so that's uh, Truth Move to Amsterdam. I'm not sure why they took so long to get there. Oh, it's because we haven't even got any decent roads in Flanders, have we? If you remember, I didn't improve the uh, uh, infrastructure because I was a bit scared about the enemy being able to get to me. Uh, now then, could do with some nifty ships along here. Did recommend uh, to a Hungarian chap recently that he gets um, some sloops uh, because it seems to me that um, they fit very well with the personality of a Hungarian. Hungarian light -like cavalry, known throughout the uh, the world, certainly throughout the uh, Renaissance, as the best light cavalry in the world. Fantastic troops. Anyway, okay, so I have one of those in each of those ports. Quite handy for moving troops around, of course, as well. You know, good movement range for them. And we're building up Amsterdam, of course, at the moment, getting everything big in there as much as we can. So let's have an ordnance board in there as well, so that we can get some uh, 24 pounder howitzers as well. That should blow away the Austrians next time they decide to come and attack our capital, hey lads? Anyway, never seen Amsterdam, you know. I, I landed at Schiphol Airport and then uh, went to the railway station and looked out and just saw a sea of bicycles, <laughs> that's all I saw. And then I went straight on elsewhere. Um, I didn't actually stop in Amsterdam. I'm sure it's a beautiful city. Anyway, um, so we'll look in America. See what we've got over here. Right, where are they? Oh yes, got those in there. Um, we'll just get another one, just to make sure we're not leaving the place too denuded. Um, move those down to here. Now, with a bit of luck, I should have a sloop in here. Yes, I have. Well, I say a bit of luck. It's not really accident, is it? It's all by design, really. Okay, so bring those up here to Cuba, which I should now, after all this time, be able to find straight away. And yes, whoopy doopy, I have done. Okay, put that, oh, put him maybe there then. Hmm. Okay, now I hope I've got some artillery. Yes, I have. Well, let me put that on there. No, it does, you know. You can't take it straight from the town to the ship. Nuisance. Uh, these here, I'll put into there. Oh, these I'm going to put into there. Notice why I'm doing this, by the way. I'm doing this because... Come on, get on there. I'm doing this because if you've got ships with different... Come on. What's the matter with you? Aha! <laughs> If you have ships with different lots of troops on, if I had some troops on these and some troops on those, it'd be a problem for me because um, I would not then be able to amalgamate the fleets because the um, the armies are not specific to the fleets, you know, which is a bit of a nuisance. So I can amalgamate them this way, and that's the plan, of course. Okay, so I should have myself a nice tidy little force there with some artillery to batter down some walls, should I need it, some cavalry to chase people down if that's necessary as well, and plenty of infantry to storm walls. I know these are a bit depleted, but I don't think you can replenish troops when you're on a ship. I'm pretty sure you can't, actually, so um, I suppose I could try and... No, you can't, no. So, actually, I could have got a general in there, could I? In fact, I still could. Is it worth it? I'm not sure I need one, to be honest with you. OK, so we'll leave those there for now, and over to India, I think. See what we can do over here. Now, need to start improving some of these buildings. Do you remember I said that um, we can repair them now, that um, the Marathas are no longer there, causing me problems? Well, of course, it does mean that while they've been damaged, they haven't been upgrading them, so they have fallen behind a bit, these, on this side. So I'm just going to improve some of these over here, um, so we can get a bit more income on these. Uh, anything else over there? Yep. Yeah, I might as well improve everything. Gives me spies as well, like you see. I can always move spies across Europe from there. I don't mind filtering those through. Yeah, I really don't. What have we got here as well? Yep, have that one as well. These are all areas that I've neglected for the reasons I've just said before. And so what else have we got here? What's this one? Yeah, we'll have that one as well. And this one. Bit of money from industry on there. Uh, what have we got here? Yeah, we'll even have that one. Anything that we can that's going to give us a bit of extra money and improve the 
um, uh, general happiness of the population as well.